Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. And recently I received a question about Google Drive and Docs, and actually specifically Google Sheets. And I've created some videos in the past where you can create a PDF from a Google Sheets, but someone asks, is it possible to create a Google Sheets from a PDF? That is, if you have a PDF uh, with some information on it, can you import that data into Google Sheets? And the, uh, the short answer is, Yes, but you have to do a couple extra steps to make it work. And this is what this video will show you, hopefully in a short period of time. So um, let's take a look at a PDF. Here's a very simple PDF that I have. It basically just shows the uh, daily highs, temperatures in various cities in the Northeast US on a weekly basis. It's a very simple chart. And what I wanna do is take this data, it's all uh, text data in the PDF, I can't edit it, but I want to bring it into Google Sheets. And the idea is once that data is in there, then I can manipulate it. I can create charts. I can export it as something else. And how would you do that? And the answer is it's pretty hard to do it directly. And in fact, I haven't been able to figure out a way to do it directly, but there's a workaround you can do to make it work. One caveat, the PDF that you have, it has to be a really simple chart or table it can't be other, like you can't have text over on the left side here that's outside of the table or, uh, you know, two, two tables next to each other and split them up or anything like that. It won't work. It really has to be a simple chart that looks something like this. Maybe it could even be longer or it could have more rows and columns, but it has to be just a basic, you know, rectangular or square table, no extra stuff next to it. To make it work. So here we have the weekly high temperature sheet uh, PDF. Now let's go to Google Drive first of all to import that. And as I've shown on many other videos, here's Google Drive. Let me blow it up so you can see things a little bit better. You press the new button to import something. New file upload. And then you find the the uh, item, the PDF that you want to convert. So here, here it is, weekly high temperatures uh, PDF. So let's take that and open. So what it will do is it will upload the PDF into Google Drive. And if you want to, you can just take a quick look at it. Um, click on it and it will preview it. But we don't want to do that. We actually want to convert it to something else. And here's how you do it. So we've just uploaded this thing. Here it is right here. And you can see that it's highlighted, but I'm not opening it. I'm just clicking it once, and then so it's highlighted. Then you go up to this More Actions icon. Um, if you hover over it, it will say More Actions. It looks like three dots. Click on that, then select Open with Google Docs. Notice it's Google Docs, not Google Sheets, and I'll explain why in a minute. So. Here is Google Docs, and it's converting the PDF, the very simple PDF, into text. All right, so here is the Google Docs, and right now the text is edit, edit, editable. So I can delete Boston, or I can change the numbers here. But this is actually kind of useless because it's just like a string of text. There's no, there's no you know, returns. It doesn't look like a table anymore. Here's the original one for your reference, okay? Here's what it looks like, the raw text in Google Docs. Okay, so we want to, now we want to put this into Google Sheets. And you have to do a couple steps before you, can, before you can get into Sheets. But here's how. Go to File, Download As, and choose the option that says Text. Okay, so it's just downloaded it into, the, into a text file. And here it is. All right, let's open that up with the text editor. And by the way, this is the uh, Mac text ed editor, but if you're using Windows, just use Notepad or whatever. And all of these steps will work in Windows as well. All right, so here's the raw text that we have. Now, if I wanted to, I could import this into Google Sheets. And actually, let's just take a look and see what that looks like when we do that. Uh, hold on here. See if I can get that small here. Okay. So uh, I'm going to switch over to Sheets. Just type sheets.google.com in the address bar. OK. Now to import text, you would just click on the Open File Picker, then select Upload, and then you drag the file there. So let's do that right now, the text file. 
All right, here it is, the uh, text file. I'm just going to get rid of the PDF there so that doesn't confuse people. All right, so let's drag it in there. So it just took the text, and here it is. Oh, it now it thought that it, now it thought that it was just a, another text file. Um, so it op it, used, it opened it in Google Docs, but we want it in Google Sheets. So this this is not what we want. And the reason why is because Google Docs works with um, text files, whereas Google Sheets you can import text, but it has to be in a different format. You have to call it uh, comma separated value or text or a tab separated value, which has a different ending. So let's um let's just t let's just take uh, CSV and add that, and it'll say, you sure you want to use CSV? Yeah, we do. All right, so let's try that again. So we go to Sheets. And I'm sorry this, if this seems a little bit convoluted, but unfortunately, it's just a, the process here is not, it, it, there's no automatic way to do this. You have to follow these steps. All right, so now we're going to take what I've called a comma-separated value file. It's actually a text file, but I'm calling it comma-separated value. And, and um, I'm just going to try to import it now. All right, let's open up the Sheets. All right, here it is. So it opened up the text in Google Sheets. But this is not what we want because everything is in a single cell, in the cell A1. See that? This shows all the information that's in there, and it's just all crammed in there at once. What, what, what we want is something that looks like this. We want the table and all the data in it but it just couldn't parse that. And so it assumed that all the text is appearing in the single cell. All right, so that's not what we want. So let's, let's get out of there. And what you have to do is you actually have to do a little bit of fixing of the file. So let's open that up in a text editor. All right, so this is the uh, text file with the CSV comma separated value. I'm going to replace all of these spaces with commas and let's see what happens then. All right, so first you do a find and then you select a blank space, and then you, over here, you click replace, and you replace the space with a comma, and then you select all. Okay, so now all of this data is separated by a comma. Let's see how Google Sheets handles that now. Whoops. All right. Put that in there. Importing it. It's going to crunch through it. Okay, this is a little bit better, uh, but there's still a problem. So it basically put each value in one cell, but it's only in one row, going all the way down. All right, uh, so I still can't use it the way that I want to. So let's try it again. And what you have to do basically is you have to work on that text file and edit it in a way where Google Sheets will import it as a as a table. And so. What, what you need to do here is you have to basically, first of all, you have to split this into the rows that you want. So the cities is on the first row, and then Sunday is on the second row, Monday is on the third row. So I'm going through and I'm basically deleting the extra comma at the end of each row and then just hitting the return key. Okay, so here we go. Let's try that now. Yes, I know this is painful, but it will help you in the end. All right, so we're going to import this this new reconfigured uh, comma separated value file, and let's see what Google Sheets does with it. All right, that's a little bit better here, uh, but there's still some problems. So it basically got all the dates, all the days right with all the temperatures, but for some reason Boston is in this in this cell A1. It should actually be in B1, and then New York you can see is split into separate cells. And the reason why that happened, let's get out of there. The reason why that happened is when I was editing the sheet and replacing commas and stuff like that, uh, it, it put a, you can see it put a comma in between New and York, and we don't want that because New York is actually supposed to be the one word. All right, and then the other thing is, is that the first cell is actually blank. So what you have to do is you have to add a comma before Boston and then a space. So this space will correspond with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday with each, with each word in the uh, in the column below it. All right, so let's try that now. Let's see what happens. Go to File Picker again in Google Sheets. Okay, upload. Let's find our. Here it is. Here's the edited, fixed up file. 
put it in there. Ta-da! All right, here we go. Now we have all the data in Google Sheets from that PDF. It took a little work to do it, but what we can do is we can start to do things like create a chart. Let's do that in Google Sheets. All right, here's like a simple line chart. Um, you could also create other types of charts, like a bar chart or whatever. So this is, this is really how you, can, um, how you can do a lot of neat stuff with PDFs that have tab ta uh, table data and then convert it into Google Sheets. It takes a while because you have to fix the data. You have to clean up the data. And lots of people do this every day in their jobs. You know, they're cleaning up data to bring into Excel or to Google Sheets. But once you have that, then you can start to do really neat things with it. So that's how I changed a simple PDF uh, table into a Google Sheets. And then of course now I can change the data. I can export it if I want to, download as Microsoft Excel, and actually even re-export it as a PDF. For more information on how to get the most out of uh, Google Sheets and Google Drive and all the other applications in G Suite, check out my book available from in30minutes.com. Thanks for watching.